Was uns Hacking und Making über digitale Transformationen lehren. Hacker sind heute schon, wie im vorigen Video festgestellt wurde, in der Mitte der Gesellschaft angekommen. Hacking ist außerdem heute viel physischer, als es je zuvor war. Es geht darum, Dinge zu erschaffen, Dinge zu öffnen, konstruktiv zu sein und durch neues Wissen die Welt zu verbessern. Das inspiriert Sarah Davis. Weil wir alle kommen nicht um Technologie herum, aber wir können die Chance nützen, die Zukunft der Technologie mitzugestalten. Was wäre für Sie ein erster Schritt? Vielleicht sich über lokale Hackerspaces zu informieren? What can we learn from hacking and making? Perhaps you are already starting to be intrigued by or to reflect on some of the aspects of this movement that I have shared with you. In this video, though, I want to focus on what I think hacking and making can teach us specifically about a society in which digital transformations are unfolding and our role in that society. For all of the challenges of how hacking and making are developing and of hacker and makerspaces specifically, I believe we can learn a lot from them. First, hacking and making remind us of the importance of materiality. In a world in which the digital is so important, we can often feel ourselves living in a virtual domain. We spend so much time online. Hackers and makers, though, explicitly talked about the ways in which they participated in hackerspaces exactly because they wanted to get their hands dirty with hardware and to meet in real life in a physical space. Even at a time of constant online access, we do hunger for face-to-face -face contact and for material practices. The hackers that we spoke to, at least some of them worked in IT uh, and were really expert software developers, uh, computer scientists. But they told us they got something different from this hands-on engagement with wood and metal and plastic even the dirtiness of hackerspaces. They craved this kind of physical contact uh, and they craved working together face-to-face uh, -face as well. Hacking is a reminder as well that the digital is actually not immaterial or virtual. It is not something ethereal that we can't touch or come into contact with. The digital is materialized through everything from the national electricity infrastructures that our devices rely on, to server farms in the Siberian tundra, uh, to the relationship between our bodies and our phones, the ways that our bodies change and we use them in different ways because of these digital devices. So for us as scholars of digital transformation and as people living throughout it, Hacking and making can help us to see the, uh, the importance of material forms and contacts and devices and practices. What else might we learn from hacking and making? I personally find the hacker lifestyle that I outlined in the second video inspiring, particularly this notion of duocracy and just doing it. Ideas like the value of making things and being creative and constructive, the value of curiosity, the notion that you learn through doing and that we not only want to understand the world around us, but to engage and intervene in it and make it work better. All of these inspire me, not only in my relation to technology, but in other aspects of my life. What would it mean to take this approach, to feel myself empowered to experiment, to try new things, to be deeply curious about the black boxes that surrounds me. Finally, and perhaps most importantly for this course, I believe that hacking and making remind us of the possibility of empowerment. Digital transformations and technologies are not something that simply happen to us. They are not something that are imposed on us and that we have no agency and control over us. Hackers are curious about technology. They want to claim it and open it up and intervene in it and imagine different worlds through it. 
We also have the possibility, I believe, to reshape technologies, to take control of them, and to see ourselves as active agents in the changes that they bring. What would it mean to take on this hacker spirit and to be uh, able to intervene um, in the technologies that are shaping our day-to-day -day lives? What would it mean to reflect on the digital but also other technologies that are all around us, to think about whether they are serving us, and if not, to think about how we might change that, what we would want to be done differently or otherwise. In contemporary society, being a citizen is inevitably entangled with digital tools and practices. It is very hard to live our lives without digital devices. Hacking and making therefore help us to imagine what citizenship in this digital society could look like? How can we hack and make our surroundings and our societies as a whole as we think about digital futures? How can we intervene in them? How can we empower ourselves to be active agents within this digital transformation? I hope that you are a little bit at least inspired by hacker and makers and the practices that they engage with the lifestyle that they espouse. I hope that this is perhaps helping you think more generally about digital transformations in the context of this course as a whole. I would really encourage you, if you have been interested at all in these topics, seek out a hackerspace that is near you. Go try it out, see what's on offer, and see how you can also uh, take on this hacker lifestyle to learn and empower yourself and engage in community activities around our active involvement in technology within society. Thank you for your attention.